of the game. Well, we're in court side. Good morning, everybody. Well, we're back on the road. Jimmy's RV repair in Deming did a great job. Didn't take but about an hour and a half the whole time. Back on the road. We're heading to Quartzside with a stopover in uh, Benson, Arizona. There's a nice place in Benson. We're going to stop at a little resort just for one night. And we're on our way there. And it shouldn't take but a couple hours. And uh, we'll stay overnight in Benson and, and uh, do a few things there. And then head on to Quartzside. So down the road we go. It's uh, two travel days here in this video so not a whole lot to see but uh, we'll, we'll uh, try to keep it short and simple so take care guys we'll see you down the road escort or did he get to find your own way? No, just go right down here and turn, go down 62 and pull right straight through almost to the exit. Here's the office. Here's in front of it. Right down Cam down. This street right here. Yeah, that's cool. Close to the shower. Yeah. Cool spot. Like mm -hmm. There we go. That's a short site there. Park up over there, probably. I hope I can get up here without them jacks. Curved like over that other one. Okay, yesterday we got here to Benson uh, to the Butterfield RV Resort. Now Benson is a, a little town about an hour, maybe an hour ten minutes outside of Tucson and there are abundance of RV parks here uh, you have uh, probably five or six resort type of parks like this one is and uh, this one is a Passport America but during the um, during the winter they only give you a 15 percent discount instead of 50 uh, because you know they're they're pretty crowded but we just got an in and out for the night and the best thing about it is they have an observatory there a la astrological observatory so we went to the talk that they had where they, you know, you sit in this uh, dome and they open up the dome and turn it around. They get a big telescope and they talk about the different stars and constellations and uh, uh, suns and supernovas and just, you know, everything there is. It, it, we were there about 7 o'clock till 10. Very interesting. If you go by there, you get, even if you don't stay in this park, it's owned by the park and they put it on free. So if, you, if you're even staying in Benson, gee, you got to get over there and see if they're going to have a talk that night. Now, you know, it all depends on clouds and the weather and everything, but uh, it was really great. The guy was very interesting, very knowledgeable. You know, we had a ball. We learned a lot. And, uh, uh, you know, like it's a little chilly in there at night, but that's fine. Uh, you know, we took a jacket with us and, and put up with the chilliness and just had a great time. I mean, it's just something you don't do very often, if at all. So uh, if you ever get to Benson, uh, remember the Butterfield RV Resort. It's a great resort. Everything's paved, the spots, uh, the roads. We had a quick in and out. We just basically drove straight out of our site, out the back door, and it was just fantastic. The showers are just absolutely gorgeous, clean. Uh, there's a nice pool. People are friendly. You couldn't ask for anything more. I think it was like about $37 a night, which wasn't too bad. So from here, we're on our way to Quartzside. So... Hope you all enjoy the rest of the video. We'll be in Quartzside in just a little bit. So down the road we go.
Yep, we're in courtside. Here's kind of a, not a review, but really where we are in Portside. We're at the American, American Trail RV Park. It's right off 95, you can tell by the traffic noise. Not too far from the center of town though. And, uh, you know, it's a typical Portside Southwest campground. Uh, gravel and dirt, plenty of dust, but hey, Full hookups, price is right, the bathrooms are clean, the showers are clean, although there's only one each, one for male, one for female, but that's fine. And uh, this place is going to get packed. Uh, it's uh, the 5th, I think, 5th or 6th of January, I have to look at my watch. Anyway, 5th or 6th of January, and we're in here, it was easy getting in. In fact, you almost can't tell where we are. There's a Montana in the back of that other trailer. Uh, but when this place gets crowded, come the week of the 20th, it's going to be hard getting in and out of here. Now, we had reservations someplace else that kind of fell through and we decided to stay here. So we're trying to get them to change our reservation. We're supposed to leave here next Wednesday. We're, and, we already, and we have reservations for the 20th for that week, but we're hoping that we can stay here to the 20th now because we don't have any place else to go and we'll have to uh, there's the this is the office we'll have to find someplace else to hold up so um, it's kind of a nice place the people are really nice guy get you to your uh, site he's he's uh he's pretty cool and got us uh, right into the right spot and it's a little bit long on the sewer hose you better have a couple extra pieces with you as you can see but other than that nice campground so we'll get back with you guys because like I said what we're gonna do today is try to get them to let us stay here till the 20th and in other words catch up with our other reservations so 